Oh, yes, here we are. Hi, guys! <laughs> it's super warm. <laughs> if you've ever wondered what it feels like inside a volcano, um, That's what it I feels will like tell right you, now. it probably feels a lot like this. Yes. Feeling a little schwitzy. Yes. Um, I would like to point out that someone in the sidebar is telling us about all the delicious things his mom bought at Costco, including pound cakes. Ooh. It's not cool. It's not cool. Ooh. Don't talk about your pound cakes in front of people who don't have pound cakes. That's one of the rules of life, you guys. So We, we if, got a uh, cake holder. We did. We did. Our friends purchased for us a cake holder that arrived in the mail today. Robbie looked at me and said, did you order a cake holder? And I said, no. Did you order a cake holder? Who could have ordered a cake Both holder? Both of us were deeply suspicious of the I other. thought it was meant to go down the street to Pam's Please house. say howdy, dude. Thanks, dude. Go on uh, out. Thank you very much. We haven't um, got to the agenda yet. We haven't gotten yet. to it yet. Yes. yes. Um, so we got a cake holder. We think we know who it's from, but we're going to confirm before... We out them on this show as being mm -hmm, generous, mm -hmm. which nobody wants to be Whalen called. Whalen would like to know what pound cakes are. Whalen, oh, Whalen, you are I missing out. I on know some your real parents. Highlights. Look at your mom and dad. Point at them accusingly and say, "How have you let me get this far in life without eating pound cake?" It's an incredibly dense and buttery cake that I think fills it uses you with delight. Several pounds of butter. Yeah, to it's make all pound it's cake. all about butter. It's mostly butter. Butter, with a little flour and sugar. In little it. eggs, probably. Yeah, yeah. Lots of sugar. Very delicious. Good with something gooey on top, like a little compote or some hot chocolate oh, or a lemon, gla lemon glaze. Lemon glaze. We don't want to hear about. Lemon it. You know, lemon glaze. glaze is the best. There's lemon not, glaze pound cake. There's not enough butter in our house to make a pound cake. I'm afraid, or if we did make one, we'd have we no butter left for anything have else. To buy more butter. Friends, it's Wednesday, uh, the week okay. of imaginary creatures. Yes. I Continue. do want. Wait, I want to point out. I am wearing glasses. Yeah. Because, because? my eye. Amy pointed out. And my eye, it is the same eye that got assaulted by a piece of salad with salad dressing on it mm. the other night. And so maybe that is the problem. My eye is all messed up, but overnight I took my contacts out and it was feeling better. So I have left my contacts out. I have a theory. Yeah. It's possible that after 21 years of looking at me, your eyes finally Just like, gave up. Done. Done. I Won't can't do look it at that guy I can't anymore. Can't do it anymore. So. Alden also pointed out that mm -hmm. if Robbie became a duck, mm -hmm. she could keep that eye closed That's permanently. True. I know, I know. Turn off that side of her brain yeah. and just function to the to the left. I mean, if I only functioned with half my brain, just imagine how poorly I'd do. Oh my gosh. We're uh, going to grill the grill pound cake. Grill pound cake. Serve it with cream and strawberries. Uh, um, you're fired. Simon, you're fired. <laughs> Go somewhere else. That sounds too delicious. That it's hurting my amazing. heart. amazing. Wow. If only we were somehow related to you. Mmm. Mmm. We are somehow. We are, but we don't live anywhere near enough to you to fetch a grilled piece of pound you cake. Can from you can inform your mother that the next time we visit your household, or your father, or your brother, we're going to demand like treatment. All yes. right. June 10th, 2020. Swats it, yo. Swats it, yo. I think we need to do Swats it, yo several days in a row to get it in lodged in your consciousness. On, Absolutely. I feel like it's going to need more than several days. Well, what is your definition of several? Maybe my definition of several is as many days as it takes until Swats What is the actual definition of several? Because I feel like several is more than a few, but less than lots. Uh, da, like, da, da, if da, I da, said da, 30, da, da, da. that wouldn't be several, right? No, I think several is not as many, as, or as fewer than 30. Yeah. I can't look it up right now because I have something else pulled up on my oh, phone. Oh, excuse All right? me. Okay. Um, so if anyone wants to chime in on the definition of several, please, yeah. please do it. You guys have def dictionaries. Theme song. Theme song. We, again, we are trying to normalize the theme song oh, application so that are? you know at the outset that this is the Robbie and Matthew show. Now, nobody knows what show they're watching. Okay, they're like, okay, is okay. that the Matthew theme song song? Right. No. The Robbie and Matthew, the Robbie and Matthew show. I feel like that was louder than usual. I, think if, I thought you turned it up on purpose to spite me. It, it looked up, like I... you had an anger turn up. It looked you were like, <laughs> is what it looked like to me. That's how it, it felt. It was turned all the way up for some reason. We played the theme song. You yes. know where you are. You have a sense of wellness and wholeness and fullness and centeredness. You're like, I'm watching that show. If you couldn't read the fine type, which probably means that you need to get your eyes checked. It says. Because that says, it the says Robbie and Matthew, Matthew show. show. Yeah, that's what it says. Um, drink the water. Oh, good. As if it were going out of style. That is a phrase that means you do something like, with urgency, okay? Because if you have a shirt... Because soon it's not going to be cool anymore. Right. For example, this Oliver shirt is so in style. Never going out of style. Right. It's in style right now. Mm. I have a fear mm. that like 15 minutes from now, people could be like, ah, too orange, too silhouette -y. 
two exclamation pointy. Mm -hmm. You never know. Mm -hmm. If you have something that might go out of style, you want to get your money's worth out of that. So this water, All right. I don't think water's ever going to go out of style since it makes up 70% of our being. However, we're going to drink it Dragon while it's dances. in vogue to do it. Guys, get your water. Chin -chin. Look, look cool. Prost. Look pro health. Look sophisticadro. Look like you're the type of person who would walk up to someone and say, "What's it, y'all?" Done. I don't understand how you do it. Look, I still have half of my mouth. Robbie, all of us admire you for trying. You being on this show is very helpful because you help those who can't drink water quickly feel better about themselves. They say, "Well, at least I'm not as slow as Robbie at There's drinking water." There's a literal war breaking out on the sidebar. Oh, what about? Uh, Simon is going to become the Secretary of Defense of somebody else's fan club. Who's? I don't know. Like some unnamed person that has nothing to do with the show? a bombing raid on the headquarters. Well, I'm glad that he's not my Secretary of Defense, because I'm not about bombing. I am about saying swats it, yo, drinking water, and envying other people's pound cakes. Those are my three <laughs> platforms. Matthew, what does this say? Matthew? Matthew fears the chupacabra. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I was are you up, a goat? I was up from 1 o'clock in the morning to mm -hmm. 3 o'clock in the morning. And for at least 8% of that time, I was in active fear of the chupacabra. For the rest of the time, I was doing the New York Times crossword puzzle. I was reading articles. I was Googling products that I might like to buy at some point in the future if I have more money than I do now. All those things. But then every once in a while, I'd be like, ah, chupacabra. And then I would say, oh, I would like to own that video game. And so, ah, chupacabra. I mean, it was very jarring. I'm going to ask you two very important questions. Two? Yes. Okay. Are you a goat? Um, Robbie, I think you know the answer to that. The answer is no. I am exceedingly goat-like in Do certain ways. Do you own a herd of goats that are uh, equivalent to your... Robbie, here's, here's the counter question I would like mm -hmm. to ask you. If the chupacabra is capable of bleeding a goat dry, who's mm -hmm. to say it won't come after me next? So far, there is no evidence. That he comes after anything with Fear but is often irrational, Robbie. It is. Okay. You are correct. All right. I don't fear the chupacabra right now because I'm with Robbie, and she would chupa the cabra out of the chupa <laughs> the cabra. All right. What does that say? Jennifer weighs in. As oh. I would like to turn to our consultant, our expert of all things literary, mm -hmm. our wise, discerning, and research, pro-research, Jennifer. Jennifer Kafka-Smith. Yes. She who owns two very small, soon-to-be-large um, what do you call them? Great Danes. Oh. Yeah. Anybody who owns two Great Danes deserves my respect. Wait, are they not large yet? No, they're puppies. <gasps> She's training them. She has two, two Great Dane puppies? Yes, and soon they will weigh uh, 150 pounds. I'm so jealous. Which is why she has to train them now. Why she has mm, any yes. prayer of getting yeah. their attention. Yeah. All right. This is Jennifer's official opinion. Oh. Perhaps too late for Wednesday's show. Not too late, Jennifer. <laughs> Having fun with language, dot, 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 is terrific! Exclamation point. I do think that Slater pairs better with Swatsit Yo. Okay, we were debating several oh, oh, options. Yes. Slong and Slater. Yes, I think and, Slater does pair better. And, and she thinks it's so Slater. 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 Yeah, that rolls um, off the which, which is which is a contraction of see you, see you later. later. But who has time for all those syllables? Not when you're cool and you're trying to like, Not when you're wearing an places. Oliver shirt that has not yet gone out of style. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but I'm missing dude. Just saying. Ah. Dude, Jennifer, dude. Jennifer's well, not here. Say Slater, Jennifer, dude. Jennifer's trading her dogs right now. Okay? Oh, okay. So she's not with us. She's going to watch it later. Right, but when you right. watch it later, dude. I right. think you have to say, what's it Well, hold on. I'm not done yet. Oh. Okay. As a matter of personal preference, ah. Slater, dude. <laughs> or the more familiar, just Slater. Okay? Uh -huh. There's uh -huh. an implied dude, dude. built into, into the, the Slater. Slater. So okay. with any contraction, there are certain things that your brain is just willing to accept aren't there, right. but your brain provides. When you say don't, your brain knows it means do not, okay? And when you say howdy, yeah. your brain knows that you actually mean howdy do, right. how do you do, right. not just how do you. Your brain is very good yes. at taking shortcuts yes. because shortcuts are efficient and life works when you cut certain corners that are okay to cut. Don't cut the corner of not doing your homework, but do cut the corner of not walking all the way around the corner if there's a path that goes like this and you can get where you're going faster. Yes. Unless you're Robbie, in which case you don't Sometimes like to get there faster. I like to walk all the way around You the like block. to take every square mm -hmm. inch of steps you possibly I can. Do. All right. There's different ways to go about life. All right. I'm sweating so much that my glasses keep sliding down my face. I um, have no sympathy. That's why I don't wear glasses because no my glasses sympathy. are so heavy. Kato shows you his, his catapult. catapult. Oh, mm -hmm. Kato, I forgot to tell you. So all if right. you don't get this message soon, show us your catapult on another show. Um, Robbie, what is this? Does Robbie art does things. art things. Okay. Yeah. So Robbie's going to do some art things. Mm -hmm. But Matthew, 
beseeches you to ask him questions so that he does not have to read to you from a terse volume he hasn't opened or even thought about since college. You guys, I have a bookshelf <laughs> over there that's full of the books that I had to read on like modern critical theory and different schools of thought um, in, in the religious philosophy. context. Philosophy. I will go over there and get one of those books and read to you unrelentingly unless you ask me some good questions. Somebody asked yesterday, Robbie, what's your favorite writing tool? And it turned to a, a bustling drawing, conversation. Drawing tool. Just right. tool. Okay. Just tool. All right. So, wait. You need a you need a pom-pom. Wait, wait. I'll hold this. Go get it. All right. This... Well, I should let Katya tell you. you so, should. ask us some questions. Yes. Ask us questions about yes. how we make art. Ask us some questions about how we cook dinner. Ask us some questions about why we had so many children. We will answer the questions. What our favorite... What, what our favorite dinosaur is. Uh, I was talking yeah. to Matthew last night. Oh. Uh, when I was in middle school, we had a school, Ow. school newspaper. I'm going to tell a very short story, and then okay. you can show your catapult. Okay. Um, we had a school newspaper, and in the school newspaper, they would feature one student, and they would ask the student different questions. And it oh. was the same questions for every student, and every student answered them obviously differently. Come on over here. And one of the questions was, what is your pet peeve? Do you guys know what that means? I did not know what it meant in Do you know middle what school. A, it's the word pet that's throwing you yes. off. Yes. Your peeve is the thing that Something irritates that you. Something that peeves you right? off, that makes you but, annoyed. But by calling it a pet peeve, it it's made me think... It's the one peeve that really annoys you. Like that you, that you almost like to have. The yes. annoyance that almost you like to have because feeling good sometimes... Fe or annoyed sometimes feels good because then oh, you feel you're superior. Oh, is that what it is? That yeah. you yep, feel I, good about it? Well, you feel it was good the about one it. that is the highest on your ranking yeah, of but, peeves. But don't some people nurse and harbor irritation because it gives them something yeah. to gripe about and feel superior about it? So I think your pet peeve is kind of acknowledged oh. as your weakness. It's your... It's See, the thing I still that, yeah. didn't understand what it meant. I think so. You know, so I'm going to look anyway, it up. Here, you hold this. I'm going to look up pet peeve. So anyway, pet peeve... Um, Obviously, I didn't know what it meant in middle school, and I don't think any of the people who they who they interviewed uh, knew what it meant in middle school. So your pet peeve could be nails on the chalkboard yes. or girls named Robbie. Yes. I mean, there's various things that... Um, Robbie, can you um, help Kato? Um, yes. Okay. So there, I don't know why I started telling that story. But I anyway. Don't, uh, nobody, um, nobody knows. Okay. Oh, that's a question that you could ask us. What is our pet peeve? Uh, okay. Kato, explain your catapult first before you show it in action. So, oops. No, the rubber band just came off. Okay, fix your catapult. I don't know how to. All right, we'll, we'll show your catapult later. All right. This is a catapult tease. Sorry, Kato, <laughs> but there's another show tomorrow. A pet peeve, yes. a particular and often continual annoyance, uh -huh. a personal bugbear. So there's another word. Bug your bugbear bug is like your weakness. It's now the you thing have that to you look can't. Up bug bear. Um, I am going to look up bugbear. But yeah. um, guys, I don't see questions flooding the sidebar. Uh, you will have to hear about some religion. I'm going to go get the book. I'm going to threaten you. Oh with. man. Okay. okay. Kato, yeah. come forward, please, and show your uh, show your catapult. So, this is just a Hold catapult it up. It up made so out of popsicle sticks. Here's the regular. Hold it up. Egg. Here's the regular popsicle stick thing, the base, the original thing, and then I just built this structure on. And this is kind of like a refill slot. Since it's slanted a little bit, if you put one in, it rolls down, and when you take one out, it rolls down. I like that. I like the, um, uh-oh. <laughs> it worked. It worked. You guys couldn't see it because it went below the camera. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> right in the camera. Uh, well done, Kato. Bravo. I love your catapult. And I think, did you find the instructions on YouTube or something? It was on Brain Chase. Uh, okay. He's doing a summer brain scavenger hunt. And this was part of the scavenger hunt. It's called mm -hmm. Brain Chase. If anybody wants to sign up. It might be too late to sign up. I don't know. All right. All right Katja, uh, thank you, friend. Uh, uh, Go back to entertaining okay. our guests. We have some Look. guests. We have some special guests in the house and today. And we have some questions. We do? Okay. Yes. All right. Good, because you guys, you are going to be treated to The Nature and Study of History by Henry Steele Commander, which is, in fact, a classic tome. It's a very wise read, but it's not something you want to read right now in the middle of the day when we're in the middle that. of a show. Henry Steele Commander. I'm going to read it if the questions do not last past the time of Robbie's art rendering. Okay, so Robbie, are okay. you drawing on paper or well, electronically? Well, I'm going to draw on paper, so again, you're going to need oh, to no. do this oh, no. part that... All right, um, tell wait, me... Wait, 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 before uh, you do that, though. I'm going to show you see first... See how I just got... Slap, slap, slap on the wrist. Uh, slap. We got... We oh. have our... our um, what's his name? Chungus? The Blobwing. Blobwing, the Blobwing. The Blobwing. Yes. So, basically, this is what we sort of put together yesterday. What was the one thing that we were working on when we had to leave? 
I felt like he wasn't done. Well, somebody had said add some fish around him, and you seemed to like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so here's what I decided to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw it on here with pen and ink because just straight up, no pencil, no nothing. You're just gonna just dive right in. Right. You're gonna go for it. But. But. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make that body without a um, this body Mm -hmm. shape. Yeah. Without a, a bl- any ink marks around it. Okay. So you're going to make it how? I'm going to make it with paint. Okay. So oh, the idea is you're I'm going to go- paint the body. I'm going to paint the body. So sometimes what you do with pen and ink is that you are uh, most of the time what you're doing is you're drawing the outline of something and then you're filling it in with paint, right? Mm-hmm. But I think what I want to do is I want to paint the shape of the now, creature. Now why? Why? Um, because sometimes that defining line makes it feel a little stiffer. Mm-hmm. And since this is a blobular underwater creature. Blobular? Blobular. Blobular. That's what I said. Is that how you describe me when you're, no, you're, you're, when you're telling blobular. your great aunt about me? No, but okay. when I talk about Chungus, okay. that dude is blobular. He is. Okay, so so I think because I'm, I'm just going to test it out. And if it doesn't look good, then I will end up outlining it with the pen and ink. But I think it might be interesting to have just... So this is something that I do in um, The Real McCoys mm. a lot. Mm. Um, for example, let me see. Let me oh. put you over here. Oh, so, um, Robbie is cross-referencing the content of the two I programs. Know, I know, what? I'm sorry. Um, so for example, mm-hmm. let me see if I can find a page where I do it. Uh, well, see here, look. This way that I drew Tammy, mm-hmm. um, there's no... There's no actual outline. Or the way I drew the hand, right? That is a shape that is painted. And then I just add the details with line work, right? Mm -hmm. So that feels different, right, than this, which I've outlined the shape of this badge and filled it in with color, right? It feels a little bit different than this one. So I'm curious to see how that would translate onto paper if I actually do it with real paint. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So the first step in this project is painting that body shape of uh, the blob wing, just all of that green, I'm going to try to paint that first. Okay? Do you get what I'm saying, Matthew? You look like you are confused. Oh, so no, I'm, I was looking to see oh, what the questions were okay. so I could answer them, but I can't find the questions. I think okay. they've the sense been buried. Uh, yeah. Here you go. Right here. How far can you swim, favorite stroke, what's your push-up record? Whoa. Okay. Is that the only question? Uh that's the only question that I saw so far. All right, Henry Steele Cominger, you guys, if you don't generate some questions for me, I'm going to start retaliating. Well, the question about how far you can swim yeah. has kind of a long, funny answer. I oh, think. does it? Are you going to tell it? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, let's let Robbie uh, move her keyboard into position. And, oh my uh, gosh, you guys, my desk is such a mess right now. Okay, I'm going to let our friends on Instagram join in. We haven't done that in a while. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hold on. Okay. Oh, where are you going, Rob? I forgot. I left my stuff over here. See, this is the problem. This is the problem. Robbie never prepares her items in spite of having so many cool tools and tricks of the trade. Um, oh, you guys, I do have something to read. Um, I was going to share Grant's letter with you. I read it, and I took out all of the things that are just for dudes, and <laughs> I found the things that I can share with everybody, even the non-dudes in the mid. If there are any non-dudes. I feel like you guys are probably like all everyone's dude. pretty much dudes. All right, no more looking at me. Now we're going to look at Robbie! Oh, I no. do not like this angle, please. Oh, you look so good. Oh, Make something interesting happen if you want me to take the camera off of you. Okay. Be the solution. All right, here we go. I am going to say to our friend... This show got very boring. Very, 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 very... What do you mean it got boring? Very boring, Robbie. What do you mean it got boring? Okay. Hop to it. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to start out... I think I'm going to start out with my washi brush. Okay. This, uh, the Japanese Sumie brush. Um, Because it's soft, it's super absorbent, it uses up lots of... um, Lots of water. It soaks up lots of water. And our little dude is green because he's reptilian, right? Oh, can he be reptilian and be underwater at the same time? I think that doesn't work. No, no, reptiles. Oh, reptiles are going. He has to be amphibious. Right? We said, somebody said yesterday that he needed to be reptilian, and then somebody else said underwater. So 
All right, friends, uh, on right. Instagram, Robbie is going to draw a blobular, I think is the adjective she used. A blob blobular blobwing. Blobular blobwing. Here it is. Look, I'm going to show you that she crowdsourced with uh, the viewers of our show. And uh, here we go. There it is. The okay. blobwing. Okay. Yes. All right. So the blobwing. So I'm going to try this. We're trying painting just the shape uh, of the blobwing. All right. Um... Oh, this is going to take all of my arm strength. I don't think I'm going to last for very long. Oh, whoops. He has a really big mouth. Okay. Okay. All right. And... Oh, he's bigger than I thought he was going to be. You've decided not to make him quite as small well, as isolated Well, because he's going to be a little space. bit harder to, okay. to paint. Okay. If he were that big. Okay. So there's that. And okay. then he has the fin. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to use... I'm going to have to use a smaller brush. Okay. A smaller stiffer brush for the fin because we have those uh we have like the webbed fin happening okay robbie is making right. a blob wing so if the blob never... wing is an imaginary creature yes if you never heard of the blob wing that's yeah. because it just started existing yesterday yeah when it was invented by a group of eager uh, right. Who knows if they were eager? Maybe. We sort of demanded of them. Maybe they and were. We forced them. Maybe they were coerced. Glum and broken into down. Making yeah. this blobwing. All right, I see the fins of the blobwing. I see that you're you're sort of a, you're innovating the blobwing even as we go. It's, Wait, I am. It's, yeah, its side fins are now more pronounced than they oh. were in yesterday's Whoops. version. No, no, okay. I like it. That was unintentional. I like it. Um, it's very I hard to freehand stuff, isn't it? It is very hard. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to make use of this being wishy-washy i think since i didn't since i decided not to do this outline as a pen and ink outline all right, right? yeah yeah so i'm trying to make it a little bit more washy what do i use maybe a blue welcome to logan who was in a workshop that robbie and i led at the University of Connecticut a couple of years ago. Of where? Connecticut. 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 <laughs> Logan showed up early and we chatted with her. She is from Egypt. She was very interesting. Oh, do you remember Logan? Yes, I do. Yes. We enjoyed your company and we're glad that you are here today to watch Robbie paint her blobfish. All right. Um, yes. Okay. All right, go ahead. So there's the blobfish and I think... I'm going to add some... Oh, I like the coloring of the blobfish. It's already more beautiful than your digital drawing, which was flat. Because it was a sketch, right? Yeah. You weren't going for beautiful. But I love the different sort of motley greens that you're bringing to, to play here. Ooh! Oh, I like this, Robbie. This is well, beautiful. Well, I don't know how... Don't, don't hold your breath. The thing about this is it's always sort of an experiment, and you never really know what's going to happen. And for instance, I had too much water in there. Look how mushy that got. I see. Yeah, well. Um, luckily, nobody's going to call me up and be like, that's not what a blobfish looks like. You need to redo your painting. That is why I am a fiction writer, you yes, guys. No one is... can ever tell me that the things I write about aren't true. I have to be very careful about certain things that dally in the realm of truth. But for the most part, I avoid it. Oh my gosh. What? There's somehow an extraordinary amount of dust on my palette. I had to just clean up some clumps of dust. That reminds me of the bok choy that we ate the other night, yeah. from which I failed to remove the oh, sand that was the worst. of growing. And I, oh boy, did I hear about that from the no, robber, you guys. I mean, yeah. you didn't. You know what? I ate all of my bok choy first before I complained about the lack of cleaning. Oh, so that you could really rub it in how much no, you'd suffered? Is so that the that idea? You would know that I appreciated can, the bok can choy. I, can I tell you the truth? What? In the bok choy recipe, yeah. there was a thing about how bok choy needs to be thoroughly cleaned. Yeah, and I was like, ah, that. it looks clean to me. <laughs> like the, the problem is, the bok choy dirt is really hidden in there. you got to work for it. I didn't feel like working for it. I didn't. Sorry. I. You know what I did? What? I took a shortcut. I cut a you corner. You did cut a corner. And we were telling. Not have we been were telling cut. the people that you got to cut corners sometimes for the sake sometimes. of. Sometimes. Well, you know what? You did that. You cut that corner for the sake of expediency. You were trying to make dinner fast, probably, which is the reason why you usually cut corners, right? Because mm. you're yes. trying to do things fast. Right. And so sometimes crunching on a little sand is worth getting dinner on the exactly. table fast. Exactly. I would say fast was not my goal. Efficiently was my goal. Before well, I turned no. old and gray was my goal. Uh, no, efficient. I think it was fast. If you were trying to do it efficiently, you can't do something efficiently if you're doing it wrong. That's not true. For me, 
getting a few pieces of sand out of the bok choy was not worth the sacrifice. So uh, I'm sorry that it, if you had a different conclusion. I did. Yeah. But look at it this way. You didn't have to make the dinner. That is absolutely true. Right? Okay. All right. So what's happening here is the value of the inside of the mouth. Yes. Value yeah. meaning this sort of brightness. I was going to say, who are you to say whether his <laughs> mouth is valuable? I bet he thinks it's very valuable. So the brightness uh, of the inside of his mouth is similar enough. It's not like this should either be brighter or this should be darker so that you can see the depth. Right now, right. they seem like they're on the same surface. Hmm. Probably what would help would be using my pen and ink to outline that mouth. Right. But as I, think, I was Robbie, taught... all told, I think the mouth is significantly darker and does stand out. Yeah. Also, when you put those bright white star teeth in there, yes, I think that help. will help define the I mouth. I think it'll yeah. help too. But I'm going to darken it a little bit, guys. I like it a lot, Robbie. I like it a lot. Oh, oh. Melissa's grandmother yes. always said, you eat a pound of dirt in your life. So think I about... I think we ate a pound of dirt in the bok choy you yesterday. Got, you so. got a little closer <laughs> to your lifetime allotment. You should be thanking mm, me. I because once you eat your pound, you can stop. I think that's, I think uh, that's the idea. Melissa? What? I appreciate your grandmother having such interesting tidbits to share with us. So thank you, Grandma of Melissa. Melissa is a good friend who brings me gummy bears... And brings Robbie baked goods and oh, brings that brings Bob shoe fly pie. Oh, there's something called shoe fly pie that can only be obtained by Melissa in Pennsylvania. Okay, <laughs> that's like the, the parameters for we, obtaining yes, it. We, oh, I like how that lighter area down there kind of looks like the bottom of the mouth, Robbie. Well, I'm gonna put in a little bit of a blobby tongue. Okay. Oh, I'm liking this more and more. I don't want you to sell this one. I want to keep this one and put it on my wall. Well, just wait. What? Hold your horses. What is it going to just get? You're just going to ruin? Are you planning to ruin it? Yes, that's right. what happens. Okay, fair enough. Okay. All right. So now, guys. Wait, guys, you have to tell us. I have no idea what time it is. None, whatever. So you oh. just have to let us know. Mm. What time is it? What time is it? Yeah, none. No, no plans to know the time. One twenty-seven. Right, three, three minutes. minutes. Can you do it? Okay. okay. Um, I can't do anything because this is still wet. Okay. So right now we just have to be patient. All right. So and hopefully can I, in three minutes. Can I put this back now and yes. we'll look at us for a minute? Yes. Okay. Robbie's gonna put it back. Okay. Oh, uh, friends on Instagram, say goodbye. This oh. is the blob wing. Oops. This is the, the work oh. in progress. Uh, oh, Robbie is so sad. What's well, happening? Well, the cord got wrapped around the microphone. I mean, we run a tight ship here, just not today. Robbie, do you want to say goodbye uh. to the people? Bye, people. Oh, Thank Robbie. You for joining Robbie us. doesn't like to be seen. Where are you? There she is. Okay, bye. All right. Woo. Okay. Um, we didn't tell. We didn't answer the questions after you berated. There were everyone. no questions. Oh, except for swimming. Yeah. Okay. I. It was one question. I should not hold it against the one person who asked a question. But the rest of you are fired. If I were an employer and you were making a wage at my place of business, you would stop making the wage. And I would take away your keys to the bathroom and I would make you go get another job at a different convenience store. Okay? What? I run a convenience store. Did you not know I that? I didn't know that. It's called Happy Mats and <laughs> oh we sell nutritious <laughs> snacks. Oh, I thought you sold mats. No, we're called Happy Mats. Why would it be called Happy Mats? Um, you always insist that you don't like being called Matt. Okay. Um, can I point out that Robbie and Matthew got mad for people talking about their pancakes <laughs> when they eat stuff in front of us all the time? Um, you can point it out, but no one's going to take you seriously. I won't be here for the next show. Ask El Puppy if she will ally with us and enter donate any war material. Yes, from the war, from the war of the van clubs. I oh. mean, this is what happens, Matthew. Does anybody actually watch the show? <laughs> I, I don't know. I have, I'm not convinced that we have any actual fans. I think they just like to talk to each other. What? Um, okay, so... Oh, oh, Shakti gave us... Um, oh, a question? No, no, she gave us a time update, but it was a while ago. Yes. Time to end the show. Uh, Goodbye. Yeah. Uh, Goodbye, friends. Well, we have the questions. I just w want to see what the question was again. Something was about, about swimming. swimming. My favorite stroke is the do not get in the water. Yes. My um, my longest swim is about 15 meters because I sink Matthew like a dense, dense stone. Matthew out of stone. Yeah, I, it's yeah. not a good thing. One time, no. Robbie uh, challenged me to swim out to a buoy I didn't challenge you. I just thought it would be nice to do. No, she said, hey, man, go out here with no, me. No, I was like, let's go for a swim. And about a third of the way out, I was like, I thought I was going to have to save him. It was not good. It was bad. Thank goodness, out near the buoy, there was a rock I could stand on for a while and replenish my life force. And I just barely made it back. Swimming and I do not go hand in hand. So, good question, Amy, for exposing one of my weaknesses. Don't come to Happy Mats and ask me to swim, okay? Come to Happy Mats and buy a Slurpee surrogate. We call them the Matties. All right? Yeah. All right. They're delicious. 
They really cool you down on a hot day like this one. All right, goodbye. All right, goodbye. We'll see you at the next. Go to the next. Go to the other screen. Bye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye.